If you're thinking of clicking off this video, just don't. J j just don't. All right? I'm going to get an absolute toad. Uh, good morning. I'm wearing pajamas at the boat ramp. Oh my god, it's a big one. Good morning everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is sponsored by Catchco. And if you don't know who Catchco is, they're basically the father company of Mystery Tackle Box and Shop Carl's. They make really great products and they also have partnered up with the Guggen Squad to make Guggen Baits time Catchco products as well. So they make unbelievable products, products that you guys have seen me use a million times. But today, I just drove over an hour to go catch some smallmouth that I'm gonna be using Catchco products to see if I can get the job done. I got a jig, some shaky heads, um, a drop shot, and then I also have a net rig you guys already know I'm obsessed with the Sakoshi bug so I got a Sakoshi bug which is by Ketchco on right now and we're gonna roll with that for a little bit and if that's not getting anything too crazy we're gonna switch over I got a crankbait on I don't know how it's gonna go it could go good could go bad but I have a lot of stuff tied on regarding Ketchco and I know that for a fact I can catch some fish on those products it's just a matter of if I can figure out when and where to go. Right now my fish finder is actually working. Um, if you guys didn't know, it stopped working recently and I purchased a new unit, but then it started working yesterday and now it's not really, I don't, I don't know, it's working, but it's not working, so we'll see. We'll see, but without our uh, fish finder, it's gonna be very hard to fish here because I'm not gonna know how deep I am. And when it comes to smallmouth, they could be shallow, they could be extremely deep, it depends. And I have a feeling that they're gonna probably be deep and I can't figure out how deep I am without my fish finder. So this is probably gonna be a little bit of a struggle bust for us today, but we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna put together something for you guys. Without further ado, I'm gonna fish this juicy little spot. This is the first spot coming up right now. It doesn't look too bad, it looks like a decent bank i feel like they're gonna be on this side besides of the bank that has the sun out i don't know we're gonna see we're gonna see stick around stay tuned enjoy today's episode make sure you subscribe to the channel and let's go catch some fish all right spot number uno i'm gonna start off with a sakoshi bug 10,000 fish a catchco prodecto and there's a dog barking in the background oh he's on the dock why are you barking at me yo my fish finder broke as I pulled up to the spot yet again because it always breaks like you guys already know so we're we, we have no idea what depth we're in so that's sick still rocking the pajama pants <laughs> that dog just drank water it's the lake bud <laughs> Oh, we have a fish on. No way. <laughs> Running right at me. Smalley! What's good, baby? Yo, yo. Sakoshi bug catches smallies. You like my small mouth, Bubba? Is that, a, is, that, is that a no? You don't like it? You don't like my small mouth? Okay. All right. Bye, Mr. Small Mouth. This is so awkward. Where is your owner? Hi, Bubba. It's okay. It's okay. Bro, it's like 6 in the morning. Literally like 6. It's 6 a.m. It's okay. Here we go. What? Holy crap. The dog is still barking. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I want to put you in the freaking live well so bad. I'm going to put you in the live well. This is hilarious. Ah, uh, no, no. Yay. No, no, no. What? Can you guys look at the size of this thing and how pretty it is at the same time? <laughs> oh my god. I don't know how this just happened, but this is the biggest bluegill of my life. I'm gonna title this video new PB. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna clickbait you guys that hard, but this is a monster. Look at my face. Insane. See you later, bud. <laughs> that was crazy. There we go. 
That's a big small mouth. That's a big small mouth. Oh, baby. Get in the boat. Yes. 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 Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, let's freaking go. All right, I'm gonna give it a drink of water and then show you guys the fish. Here we go, we finally got a freaking smallmouth. It is actually a good size smallie too. Not big, but not bad at all. We're gonna let this guy go and hopefully get on a bunch more. Oh my god, I'm so jacked right now. Oh, oh. If you know me, my favorite fish in the world to catch is smallmouth. It might seem like I love catching largemouth, and I do, but my favorite species of all time to catch is smallmouth. Oh, here we go. Woo! Yes! Oh, get up in here, Quay! Oh my god, you're so pretty. Nope. Oh my god, you're so pretty and your poor little lip. Someone must have yoinked you. Smallmouth are so beautiful. I mean, I'm not trying to overkill the video right here with slow-mo release shots, but there's no way I'm not getting another slow-mo shot on this one. <laughs> Back down into the deep he goes. I'm so jacked right now. This isn't even funny. If you're thinking of clicking off this video, just don't. J -j just don't. All right, I'm gonna get an absolute toad. I just have a really good feeling right now about today. Even though the wind's pretty brutal, we're gonna make it happen. All right, so I put a drop shot on my baitcaster combo, which I don't highly like recommend or anything, but I only have one spinning combo with me and I wanna keep the Ned rig on, so I put the shimmer sat on it. By 10,000 fish, this is the three inch version. Should I get the job done? Come on. There she goes. <sighs> All right, spot number two. Spot number one was extremely successful. There we go. Oh my God, it's a big one. Oh my God, no, it's a big large mouth. Holy crap, that's a big mouth. Oh my God, that's a big large mouth. <gasps> Is this a joke? I'm just trying to move off this spot really quickly. Oh, <laughs> that's a freaking tank. <gasps> what the hell? I thought this was a big small mouth. Oh my God, hopefully you guys can see me. Maybe I'll zoom out a little bit. There we go. Oh my God. I'm gonna get a weight. I think this fish is definitely three pounds. Definitely three pounds. Two pounds, 15 ounces. So close to three pounds. We're calling this fish three pounds all day. So close. Woo! Boys and girls, let's go. All right, I, can, I'm, I can't even talk right now. I'm gonna put this fish back. Wow. Can you guys still see the fish? That was a long fish. Definitely, probably a really old fish in my opinion. You could tell that that fish has been through hell and back. But we caught him on the drop shot. Let me grab the lure that we just caught that fish on. This is the juicy nugget that I just caught that fish on. It is the perfect drop shot bait and he just wanted it. But this one is the four inch. I actually was using the three inch. I just can't find the package right now in my boat because my boat's an absolute mess. <gasps> oh my God, I told you guys to stay tuned in today's episode and I was gonna get crazy and caught a decent fish. I got three pounder yesterday and today, so we're on a steady incline, all right? I'm catching big fish on this channel. So that was a New England brute. Now let's go catch a monster smallmouth. number three of the day probably the final spot of the day and it looks the best out of all of them so let's see what we can come up with and get done at this spot before we head off the water because the wind 
it's picked up a lot, but we can definitely still make something happen towards here at the end with a, with a bigger small mouth. We caught a big large mouth, caught plenty of small mouth, but I want a decent sized smallie. So uh, let's get to it. There we go. Woo! Yes, biggest freaking smallie of the day, baby. Biggest freaking small mouth of the day, let's go. Oh my god, I was gonna leave too. I was like, wow, this cut kind of sucks. I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh, let's go. All right, I am off the water. I want to say a special thank you to Keshko for sponsoring today's video and getting me out on the water. Today I threw the Eliminator, which is by Ketchco. I threw the Shikoshi Bug, the Shimmer Shimmer, or the Shimmer Shad. I'll never get that one right. I threw the Ketchco and Guggen Squad collaboration crankbait. This one dives eight to 12 feet. That didn't work, even though I threw that for a while. So all in all, I use a bunch of Ketchco base today and we ended up getting the job done. I caught that big bass. I caught a bunch of small mouth. It was pretty much everything I ever wanted to do was what happened today. I was just so determined to catch small mouth. Again, everyone's different, but small mouth, are my favorite fish to catch. And I don't personally live near any smallmouth fisheries. Um, a really good smallmouth fishery, uh, north, south, east, west, whatever, they're all about two hours away from my exact location of where I live. So it's kind of hard. This one is an hour, a little bit over an hour away, which is not bad at all. But if I want to go to a smallmouth fishery, I have to drive over two hours, which really sucks. But this place was still awesome. We definitely caught a lot of fish. Thank you so much to Catch Co for sponsoring today's video and helping me catch some smallmouth. Absolutely love smallmouth. I can't say that enough. But yeah, we ended on a great note by that last smallmouth. Spot number three was a little eh. Spot number one was the best. Spot number two led to only one fish, but it was our big bass. So all in all, not too shabby. But thank you guys so much for viewing today's episode. I love you guys so much. Thank you for everything, and I'll catch you guys next time.